This question's from Madeline, and she asks, how does sunscreen work? And that's a very good question, Madeline. Well, back in the olden days, people used to carry around screens to protect themselves from the sun. Uh, wait. Mm. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. Sunscreen screens us from the sun. My mom says no screens on the weekend. Again, that's still a different kind of screen. Screen in this case means block. It blocks us from the sun. In fact, we should we should call it sunblock. What's that? Oh, we, we do call it sunblock? People call it sun, okay, well, there you go. Here's the science of sunscreen. It's basically paint. It's paint that you put on your skin and it protects you from the sun. But Phil, you say, look, it's disappearing. You can't see it anymore. How does it work like paint? Well, it does disappear to visible light, but it's not visible light you're protecting yourself from. You see, the harmful rays in sunlight come from UV rays or ultraviolet, and they come from the electromagnetic spectrum. Here's the good old spectrum, and here is visible light. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, Violet. Now, ultraviolet, ultra meaning beyond in Latin, means beyond violet, or the rays that happen just outside of the color violet that we can see. Now, we can't see ultraviolet light with our eyes, but there are special cameras that can. Here's what sunscreen looks like when looked at through an ultraviolet camera. See? It really is like painting your skin. So, what sunscreen should you use? and how much of it should you use? Maxed out sunscreen! Each sunscreen you can buy has a number, 15, 30, 50, 100. Ooh, look, this is 110. Now that number refers to the SPF or the sun protection factor. But here's the thing, 15 isn't half as good as 30 and 100 isn't twice as good as 50. Those numbers don't quite line up. Here's how much of the sun is blocked by SPF 15. 93%. Double that to 30 and you get 97%. At 50 you get 98% and at 100 you get 99%. 110, maybe you get 99.5%. It's hot out here. But here's the other thing. That SPF number is still a little misleading. You see, those numbers are tested in a lab using a lot more sunscreen than people generally put on. And there's other misconceptions as well. So if I use SPF 100, I only have to use half as much as 50. Wait, is that true? <laughs> but the 100 was much more expensive and came in a smaller bottle. So you're better off buying a large cheap bottle of 30 or 50 and putting on a lot of sunscreen than you are buying a very expensive small bottle of a much higher number and not using enough. So how much sunscreen should you actually use? Well, when you look it up online, you get just about every answer under the sun. <laughs> And what's more, there's barely any information for kids. How much should kids use? The same as adults? That doesn't make sense. Kids are generally smaller than adults. So here's what I came up with. You're supposed to use half a teaspoon for your face and your neck for the average size adult. Now, I'm an adult. Sunscreen face, sunscreen face. Okay, well, I'm the size of an adult. And so I wanted to find out just how much half a teaspoon of sunscreen is. And here's what I came up with. Half a teaspoon is the entire length of my middle finger. It seems like a lot, but I checked, and there you go, that's half a teaspoon. So if that's how much an adult should use on their face and neck, I figure finger size works the same for everybody. If kids are smaller, they have smaller fingers, so it should all work out the same. So if you're a kid or if you're an adult, how about using one strip of sunscreen along your middle finger for your face and neck? Put a little dab here, a little dab there, a little dab there. Don't forget your ears. And then do the back of your neck. And then rub it all in. Make sure it's all covered everywhere. There you go. Science! So remember, that's one line for your face and neck, one line for each arm. And if you're doing your legs, you'll need two lines for each leg, two lines for your back, and two lines for your chest. And as you can see, even though it seemed like a lot, it absorbed into my skin just fine, no problem. So now you know how much sunscreen to use. So this really is too much? Yeah, that's a little too much. Okay. So is sunscreen the only way to protect yourself from the sun? Of course not. Nothing protects you from the sun like clothing. One million sunscreen. This is really hot. Whew. 
especially when swimming. So if you're swimming, get yourself a swimming shirt and wear that to make sure you don't get a sunburn on your back. And there you go, the science of sunscreen. Excellent question, Madeline. If you have a question for me, ask it on the question hub linked below. And as always, share, like, subscribe, you know, do whatever you want. I'm just gonna kick back and relax a little bit. Soak up no rays, no rays at all.